Well, hello there, YouTube. Holy moly. Has it been flat windy today? There's been a few times that the sun came out and it was absolutely gorgeous. And Kelly and I, I got up early this morning to um, finish Kelly's um, little red cat truck. And because um, we're talking about going on a hike. Well, it's be windy. We're all going, oh, yeah, the wind is uh, going to dry everything out. Then a downpour. And then finally it dried back out and then, I don't know it's probably been 20 minutes half an hour ago it just downpoured again so I don't know so anyway got the gutter truck I'll fix it works great had to put the track or not tracks but red cat transmission back in it and uh yeah she's flawless but uh man I was waiting I was late or working on her truck and late building yesterday's vlog so while I'm waiting for YouTube to cook it so I can turn the thing live, I start going through comments. I've been getting, as you know, I've been getting behind on the comments. Wow. Dude, I got some awesome, awesome, awesome followers. I didn't realize that, you know, there was some negativity going on. Well, I talked about it in that video day before yesterday. And um, just didn't pay much attention to it from there. Man, some of the people that have less than friendly things to say after you guys they gotta feel pretty dang small right about now man you guys are awesome but anyway we're gonna take her uh, truck just buzz it around out here and uh, see what it's like in real life so uh, hang tight she's driving a thing around in the house she's even doing a little Leo gets all excited and he wants you to chase him and then he runs around and comes back around, tries to get the car. He throw it in reverse. <laughs> he just barks and howls and carries on. He love. He doesn't bite it or attack it or anything else. He just wants you to chase him. He's like Sasha and Annie, you know, trying to get at each other. And one wants to play, the other one doesn't. One drives them, the other one nuts until they do, and then <laughs> game is on. Furniture gets moved. But uh, anyway, let's take a look under the hood here. I'll show you guys what I did. Well, it kind of looks like it did before, except everything's converted to a lipo, and it's got the fusion motor in it, and the stock transmission back in it. Everything else is uh, is the same, but uh, yeah, from goofing around, making little weird things in the house, it's uh, it's wonderful. And the thing I've noticed some differences in the. That was a little mini Cooper going down that road. And you wonder why they, you know, you'll see them come down. The suspension's all whacked, whacked ruined, whacked out in is what I was trying to say. But, um, yeah, fantastic. Oh, well, I was going to say, I've noticed some differences. Like, I set mine at 50% reverse. 50% reverse on this is like 25% on a Fusion Pro, which is perfect for Kelly. I, I don't like a fast reverse either. I mean, sometimes you need to go fast to get out of something, you know, to get unstuck. But, yeah, it's it's just easier to have a low reverse. But, um, anyway, let's go. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll try to give you guys... Oh, I was expecting my thumb thing to be on here. I haven't recorded any driving with it, so... But luckily, I can reach the, the steering pretty good with the thumb. Now all the tranny noise, that doesn't go away with them when you put the motor, but we were uh, playing around with stuff, running into things and, and just watching it. The motor just kicks up the torque and nothing stops it. It will literally try to fold itself in half on carpet. It, it will not stall. If them tires get traction, you're in trouble. It's going to mow over. <laughs> We're moving chairs around in the kitchen and stuff like that. It's fun. Look how slow you can go. Fusion. And that FOC thing is, is what controls that, that. You know, just kicks the torque up to whatever you want it to do. You think all that running around we've done in the house... Which thankfully it didn't come off, so because it'd be in the house somewhere. Kelly goes, I gotta vacuum this floor enough as it is with all the dogs. 
You out here racing around, dirty tired. I don't think anything came off of it. My hands are cold, so my uh, one hand driving here is not as not as good as it should be. And the remote's cold, or the, yeah, the transmitter. I guess the remote, whatever you want to call it. Look how smooth you can drive this thing now. Just crystal, crystal smooth. <laughs> it's actually a very nice truck. And for the amount of money, you just can't beat it. I wish you could unlock the diffs though, because the difference in how vehicles steer when the diffs are unlocked is, is pretty amazing. But you remember the last time I drove you guys over these bricks? With this thing, it was all herky-jerky and just bang. Watch, I just got a steady throttle here. Just crystal smooth. I'm not very good with steady throttle there, apparently, am I? My finger was all over the place on that thing. But that makes it so pleasing for her to drive. She's just sitting there in her chair going all over the place. Then she get herself too far around. I can't see it. <laughs> I said, well, get up out your chair, mama. You mind moving it? <laughs> Not a problem. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's the way it should be. <laughs> but that creepy crawl thing she loves that there we are she's very 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 smooth drivable now perfect for Kelly that's the way they should be anyway I mean when I was you know first getting into these things that's you know being all herky jerky you're glad that it had some kind of a scale look to it and you don't worry about that plus you know like the buggies and stuff and Stadium trucks, you kind of hold them things wide open all the time, so I never paid attention to that stuff anyway. But very nice. Awesome. You now, last night I was talking about when I was touching the spur gear, I could feel the FOC buzzing. Well, that's, that's holding the um, drag brake on this thing. So if you're descending, you let go, it just stops. And, you know, with that FOC, you can just ever so slowly control it. But this is set at 80%. I don't know why I didn't put it at 100%. I just didn't. But, um, watch. That's the motor holding it. There's no brakes on it. Well, the motor has a brake in it. But you can't. No matter what. <laughs> it's nuts. Let me, uh, here, let me try something else here for you right quick. I don't think I have enough traction here to show you, to get the point across. But, watch. It won't stop. Look at, look at the speed. How slow I can crawl that thing. But if it gets traction, it just takes the bumper and tries to bow it. I'm not kidding. The thing, I think the car or truck would probably fold itself in half. Lovely, lovely technology. Because this motor is, you know, specifically a crawler motor, and it's uh, 1,800 kilovolts instead of 23, they're not overly fast, so... That's wide open, but that is a 2S battery too. Come on back here, young gal. What you think? Have fun rolling. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> stuff. 
check it out. The mom and I, I don't have my normal recording stuff. Just got my phone in my hand. Out of my way, woman. Out of my way. <laughs> She's enjoying it. She goes, oh, that's so nice. Ah, she caught me. <laughs> so I was worried about because we've been out here playing around in the grass and stuff. That thing would would handle the... I think you're a little off center. There you go. <laughs> How that, how well this thing would go up the ramp with those wet tires and no problem at all. Look, no, no brake applied. That's the drag brake holding on. Just give it a little, boom, boom. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Whatever a foom foom is, huh? I think you and I have our literally have our own language. We don't have to encrypt anything. All we gotta just talk, well, talk like ourselves. Remember I was telling you guys that the rock lights, sometimes on camera, look warm, but standing here, they don't, but the camera picks it up as warm. See how yellow the rock lights are? I don't care. Ask me if I care. Oh, before I even hit that thing, I knew I'd get stuck. I don't have the diff locks on. The old K-10 with your pretty little light bulbs a-shining. Ain't she pretty? <laughs> Some, sometimes you got to save them. You can just give it a little shove. And just make sure you go to the left more. The first time she's tried her ramp. Look at that. And coming, I was out here playing, having fun. She made it all the way up. Had to save it at one point. Yeah. Her just her tires are wet and dirty. Just so much gravel on them because they were wet. It was sliding, and uh, I did the same thing with this. I didn't have to save it. I just went really slow. But I had to lock the discs though because back wheels were spinning on one of those, and it's just going. It was heading over. <laughs> Mom all in her jam jams. <laughs> How about that? She's in love with this thing now. <laughs> yeah, it's a completely different drive. I mean, she's so silly. She even she even rolled it over, messing around out there, going up and down the ramps. She would never even attempt to try them. And bless her heart, she tries. We're out driving around the grass and then we're in the little area in the barn and the tires got all you know caked up with all the dried up dirt inside there and then she tries the <laughs> she tries the ramp and uh yeah it slipped around it, ultimately she had to catch it just flopped it right where it was back up onto the uh on the rails and she finished it off came down the other side and uh, went up, you know, the little skinny white ones, and she had a ball. What a difference. So besides, uh, you know, swapping back to the um, stock transmission, which I did put the steel gear set. It was like $11 for the gear set. So I put those in. And, uh, well, of course, you had all this stuff apart. And I'm looking on both differentials, both of them. Did the same thing. I'm like, why are the bearings coming out? You know, I showed you those aftermarket um, axles that I got, drive shafts. See how the stock one has a collar right there? Well, once you pin this thing in, that collar keeps the bearing in the transmission. The bearing was literally coming out. It was more than half out. If I can get in here. I got a light trying to make this a little better visual. But yeah, same thing. So it has the stock drive shafts back on it as well. They're smoother and quieter. You know, I preach to people all the time with motorcycles about this cheap garbage aftermarket stuff. And yep, I do the same thing. People are probably 
heavy in the RC cars would probably go, yeah, smoke. Don't plus mess with that stuff. <laughs> give me the same uh, spiel I give. But yeah, that was really cool. She really, really had a good time. She really wanted to go for a for a hike today, but man, the weather just kept changing back and forth. It was just a mess. But anyway, it's a uh, we got a little bit of light out there. We're gonna bust out, do ourselves a goodbye, and call her a day. Hope you guys enjoyed the little second dual vlog or recorded part. We goof around a little bit in between, but on that, we're gonna bounce. All right, we'll see you outside here in a moment. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, look at the skies. Of course, it's got to be the nicest at the end of the day. Of course. Why is it? That's like a good. Popping on my hair. Or a Leo hair or something. Boy, when that spring comes, man, it is a. Uh, it's a fluff. A lot, lot, lot of cleaning. Yes. Jackum dogs. <laughs> but that was fun. I think Mama, of course, she stayed out too long and her hands got cold. Yeah, I couldn't hold on to stuff. She was out there cleaning the. We were playing in the pen. She drove or walked over to the pen, running the car, and was going inside there. And of course, wet tires they collect all that crap. And so she's out there doing figure eights out there. Come, 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 come. She goes, "Oh, I, I guess I went a little too fast." <laughs> <laughs> and then she's in there playing on the pen and doing certain things. And I just hear this little. <laughs> I go, <laughs> she's laughing at the car. Too much fun. <laughs> The joy from a little scale looking toy. I know it. Those oh, are man. fun. It's crazy. Popularity's nuts. Yeah, I can't wait until spring so you don't freeze to death out here. Yeah. So she was taking her clips off and trying to get the clips back on, which makes that thing, I mean, it doesn't so look as easier. scale, but that Velcro, man, that thing was some kind of stiff. Yeah. But her hands were so cold she couldn't get the clips back I know, on. I couldn't hardly feel them. <laughs> <laughs> But wasn't working anyway that's a lot of fun mm -hmm. and it, that thing just is perfect for her driving it's just not all you know yeah, it's, it's gas on really gas fun. off and yeah she's having a ball went up and down the ramps that crazy woman yeah she never touched that before <laughs> that was kind of sketchy <laughs> yeah her tire her tires were wet and then she drove in the dirt and of course they're just like riding on sandpaper yeah, or a loose slide. gravel but anyway, caught you guys before the sun went down. Mm -hmm. Look at that vapor trail shining okay. in the... Oh, I think there's two of them. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if that'll even go up. Probably not. You see that little white oh, streak cool. going across the sky. That's a, a jet that its vapor trail is glowing in the sunset. That's pretty. He's high enough, he still sees the sun. I know. That Bring it fair. back down. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think we're going to close it at that. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. Till tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>